Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Rod's Random Reviews. And guess what? We have a new watch. And it's been a little while since I've done a watch review. And I know in my, um, uh, what I've listed as my things I review is obviously a watch. So this is the Tag Hewer. And uh, this is the box it comes in. A lot of nice paperwork with it. Uh, you know, use your iPhone to pop into there and register. And, of course, you're talking about um, uh, a very expensive watch. Uh, again, those of you that follow me know that I have three grandsons. And my my plan is, in my senior years, is to uh, have three very nice watches. And I have a Rolex. I have an Omega. And now I have this nice tag hewer which is a carrera and if i'm mispronouncing that um i'm sorry to my tag hewer fans but uh i just wanted to pop this on you all know that i don't do any fancy editing or anything but my gosh these boxes are nice and heavy um the um tag hewer is you know a high-end um watch that you can depend upon for um, very accurate readings for uh, weeks, months, years on end. But let's look at the Carrera. Now, this is it on my wrist, but you'll notice I have a brown leather uh, band, and it just pops off like this. It's not the typical, um, you know, you have to lace it in and buckle it up like a belt buckle. You press in here, release the release, and it just slides right out. But look at that. This is a dress watch. Now, I have a Rolex, which is more of a sport watch. It's the Explorer 2. And I have an, an Omega Seamaster. Uh, which is more of a sport watch. But I sort of needed a dress watch. When you're putting on your suit and tie and going out there, um, you know, you need a dress watch. And this one just caught my eye when I was in the jewelry store. Can't help it, but, you know. Um, but you see here, uh, you have to know the, uh, the various... Um, uh, tools associated with the coronagraph, but there are various uh, models of the coronagraph. You can see the clear back here, how that's looking for you. Very um, elaborate um, mechanical ship here. Uh, um, so uh, here we are, October 10th, twenty. 24, and you see the Hero 02. Oh, okay, so one of the features of this one, unlike most automatic watches, this one will go 80 hours. Can you see that down in the bottom there? If you've got it, you know, worked up with your uh, movement of your wrists, uh, you've gone walking, you've done this, you've done that, and you put it up on a shelf... For 80 hours, it will run without you having to move it again. Now, if you're like me and you have some automatic watches, you have that um, watch turner that you put your watches in, you know, that get, keeps them turning throughout the night and the weekends and stuff when you're not wearing it. But you'll see this one says it's good to 100 meters, and I believe it. Swiss, Swiss made since 1860. And uh, the list goes on. Now, uh, you can get these uh, that are uh, various versions of them. It's probably the most versatile watch that I have seen. Uh, you know, they have green covers. They have blue covers. They have red covers. They have, um, you know, uh, rubber covers. Uh, bands here, etc. So, and you can 
replace these bands, um, you know, with a different color. If you just want to get one watch, one executive watch, and be able to replace the bands with maybe black, brown, uh, I guess even blue, I think you can get. So these tags are Swiss made. They're very high end. Uh, this is an eye catcher. I want to think it's 39 millimeters. It's not that huge, you know, 43, 45 millimeter. And it's uh, kind of got a thin profile. So when you've got the, your long sleeve, uh, you know, shirts on, you've got your um, suits on, it's not catching all the time on those. But just look at that movement there. Um, the Tag Hewer Carrera, and you see the logo there. And uh, prices, you know, there's all kinds of prices on these, depending on if you get a rubber band, but uh, a rubber wristband. So I'm thinking if you're in the six, seven thousand dollar range, uh, you know, you can probably go for one of these. So there you have it, folks. The movement is automatic. The case is typically around 39 millimeters. It has a strap bracelet. Uh, it's circular brushed. Um, and you can customize, you know, your tag hewer uh, by just adding various different um, um, wristbands to it, like I said. And, uh, you know, there's a teal color out there. Oh, my gosh, there's several versions of it. You can get a, a very nice uh, travel case for them. So I'm sloving my uh, tag hewer. So just to show you one more time. And then once you put it on, you can adjust it right here, slide the leather back and forth, back and forth to get it to where it is just a very nice fit on your wrist. All right. <clears throat> like, uh, excuse me, uh, Grandpa Ron said, I don't care if you subscribe. I don't care if you like. I'm just trying to put, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just trying to put some content out there that will help somebody along the way. But there you have it, folks. Rod's very random reviews, and tonight we're reviewing a high-end watch suitable to hand down to your grandchildren. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Did you get it? Watching.